Yo, what is good, everybody? I wanted you to see this, everybody. If you were watching my JoJo episode, my review, I was losing terribly on this kid because he kept doing the same thing over and over because he only needs one combo because it does enough damage. And I absolutely just destroyed him within the next fight, which I am so mad I didn't record. But... What is good, everyone? <laughs> oh, man, it feels good to destroy that thing. Um, with this week's episode of A Certain Magical Index... I, oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap, this episode was super, super like dark. It was entertaining. It had a lot of information in there. Not only that, it probably has one of the best battles in there so far um with accelerator and this number two guy really just hogging the show at the end uh i'll just talk about that towards the end of the episode but the craziest thing this week to me was watching the chick who has been working together with these girls and like their friends they seemingly were friends but come to find out, only one of them who is a level 5 who's willing to run away like a scrub at the first sight of a battle was really just like some terrible, horrible person all along. And I'm not sure what people are going to tell me about her, but from what I can tell just from this episode, I probably won't accept anything really uh if they try to talk me out of hating this girl which i don't think they will because everybody should probably have the same amount of feelings as i do this week when she's going around destroying her own teammates two of them at least well one but then gets beaten by a level zero where have we seen that before um and then ends up crying about like what what the heck happened <laughs> she literally just gets bodied by one of you know her weakest teammates after all this talk of going to beat the number two person you just lost to uh, a level zero so how are you supposed to beat level two you <laughs> like just stop just stop um Learning about this crystal, ability crystal, is seemingly learning about the PCP of this world. Like, holy crap, it is super hated in this world. Not only is it hated, it's meant to pretty much, it's going to kill you sooner or later, you know? So, um, I don't know if that's what they really wanted to express with that, because it's going to have a bigger role later on, because for what I can tell, usually you don't introduce something that's like a cheating mechanic unless it's probably going to get abused uh in future episodes or if we're going to find out that maybe it's from a whole different side of it's not even from you know the academy city uh stuff like that so really interested into where uh this crystal can probably put people uh on a fighting chart they can probably get way stronger than um, most expect, so, that's, that was an interesting, uh, note, that she was used, uh, one of the girls were using it to pretty much, uh, get very, very powerful in the sense of being able to trail or track anybody's movements within the city or, you know, within the AIMS, uh, systeming or whatever it was called. So I, I thought that was pretty fun to watch. A uh, mystery enemy. Um, oh God, Waldo, the Humper of Death. I'm, this is gonna be a rip right here. <laughs> um, but to know that there is such a weird chemistry throughout all Academy uh, Academy City, it brings Academy City be back to the forefront almost of being the main attention. Uh, over it just being the characters itself we are very in I'm very interested in what the heck is actually going on in the city um, not only that we just learned that one wow my love my life is so low uh, we just learned that one of 
the organizations uh, in there that they were tracking pretty much we come to find out that one of them is called uh, dragon so what it being called dragon I can only imagine who a is oh my I'm not doing no damage bro uh, who a is behind it and B who uh, if they if it's not the person we think it is we probably know a good idea Wow, my life. Uh, we probably know a good idea just who might be behind it. So, um, yeah, there's no point in this mission. But uh, if it is, if it is the guy, like it's if it is our boy uh, that they're tracking and they just call him Dragon now for code name, um, that wouldn't be surprised. But if it is a group of people looking to acquire the dragon tame the dragon or kill the dragon that would be a little bit more interesting than just calling him the organization organization of dragon when uh we already know that he's working together with quite a few uh people in the sense of you know he has people from the church he has people from you know index he has people from academy city all these people uh, are on his side so to know that oh, I wanted to switch weapons to know that um, that is the case and he has those types of people that are in different organizations but would pretty much help him at certain times over maybe even their own organization that's pretty uh, that's a pretty big threat and not only that for him to have a power like that to give him a code name of dragon or something uh, it goes to show you just how sketchy he is when it's like item school block you know all these different like very small names that don't you know mean much but then when you go to a dragon we know dragons are very very deadly um so compared to a school okay <laughs> or a block or an item let's be real so clearly the 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 new name is going to lead into something as well or it's going to already be something we know uh but at the end man the fight with the accelerator and this level two guy just seeing the level two talk about dark matter and how it's something that pretty much doesn't exist and it's something that um accelerator shouldn't even be able to control or to be able to move it anything like that we come to find out that he's doing it perfectly fine. He, he, he's perfectly fine moving all of that. Accelerator is perfectly fine slapping this guy. My God. <laughs> like, we're, we're, if you were watching like me, you're like, oh, man, this is going to come down to the final punch. And then he's like, nah, bro, there, there's a huge wall difference between us. So I'm just going to body you now. Here we are, and you're done. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, okay, like, I guess it's not going to go that far. But to see him attack the woman that has been watching over Accelerator and Last Order, man, that would have made anyone mad and go red in the eyes. Like, she's literally confessing every single reason as to why she was doing what she was doing standing in front of Accelerator and the gun and all that and this man still had the nerve to attack the one person that is even willing to protect him his own team didn't even show up to protect this guy and a woman that is protecting every student still shows up and protects this guy ah uh, it was rough to see her go down like that but she did stand back up also this is the girl that was helping uh push the girl who could actually like summon boulders and all that stuff summon up big conjuring rocks and she was there with like the riot team to hold her off and stuff like that so she's been through a lot and to think that she's practically just a cop uh she she's a good one in my books and i really hope that we get to see more of her uh you know after this situation at least her get to hang out with like accelerator and the girl still or something along those lines i do not know but this episode was amazing nonetheless uh the fight and accelerator losing himself and calling himself a villain 
is definitely some foreshadowing, which I don't like for his character. But at the same time, he was controlling two powers that could have destroyed citizens, hundreds of them, if not thousands. And he was controlling two separate powers and making sure neither uh, civilians were getting hit or that he was getting hit. So to call him a villain, uh, maybe he is truly a villain, but because his power was so high... He had the ability to protect, and so he did it. Uh, really not sure with this guy. He's such a weirdo. Um, I really want him to be good and maybe stay as like a vigilante attacking the bad but seeming bad. But at the same time, he's him. He's a celebrator. I can't control him, and I can't judge him for his choices, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me for not judging Alba. <laughs> but yeah overall man very very entertaining episode i hope you guys enjoyed yourself this episode as well i die before her brother lord have mercy on my weapons um make sure you guys drop a subscribe if you want more from me i will be dropping as much content as i can as i say that taking it about because i have done it i've dropped like pretty much everything that i want to uh coming down to all the series that i watch so it's nice to be able to know that i get to take a break after this video knowing that maybe there is another anime out there i could record um and depending on how things start going i might add some more to the list so if you are excited for me to add more to the list make sure you subscribe and have that notification bell on so you know exactly when those extra videos or the old school ones that I'm already doing are up. And I will talk to you guys in the next one then. So with that, peace. Mulligan. <laughs>